Hello children. Welcome to the e-learning session of geography. We have already studied lesson number 6, land use. Today we are going to revise the same lesson. Land use. Land is that part of the earth which is not covered by water. Land is very vast. Lot of part of the earth is covered by land. but same land is used for different purposes land use is the way or purpose for which a land in a region is used the interaction between geographical factors and man have resulted in land use land use undergoes changes with time as man's needs have increased the use of land for different purposes has also increased mineral rich land is used for mining fertile plains are used for agriculture means as the time has changed the needs of man has changed the use of land is also changing there are two main types of land use rural land use and urban land use rural means village area the use of land in village area is different from the use of land in the city areas in rural areas agriculture is the main occupation agro based activities are also common in rural areas agro based activities means the activities which are depended on as lot of agricultural activities are taken place the settlements that is the houses of the people are located near to the fields and the agricultural areas the settlements of miners are close to the mining areas while fishermen's settlements are near the sea shore in rural areas the availability of land is more means we have lot of land and the people living there are less hence the population is sparse sparse means more area and less people in rural areas the extent of residential areas is less means not many people are using that land for living land use in the rural areas can be classified in different ways now we will see different types of land use in agricultural area that is villages arable land this is the land under cultivation normally this land is under individual ownership this land can be classified as per the ownership of land and type of agriculture this is the land on which agriculture is taken place and it is owned means the owner of this property may be some one person individual person fallow land fallow land is the land which is temporarily not in use means for 3 months or 6 months they are not using this land so that they can regain the fertility of the soil forest land we all know forest land means the land which is occupied by the forest a demarcated forest area is also a type of rural land use from this area forest products like firewood gum and grass are obtained forest comprise of large trees bushes creepers and grass demarcated means the area which is specially reserved for forest this forest is very useful for the people so we get different types of things from the forest land also grassland pasture land grassland means the land which is under the ownership of the village panchayat or the government and is used for grazing purpose grazing means where the animals we can see the picture the cattle are going to eat the grasses this land belongs to the entire village 
Very little grassland is under individual ownership. Means this land is from the village ownership or the government ownership, which is kept separately for grazing of the cattle. Types of urban land use. There has been an increase in urban settlement in the twentieth century. Means now we can see overcrowded cities. In urban areas, land is used for different purposes. It is necessary to make maximum use of the land. In urban areas, with reference to population, the land is limited. Yes, many people are living in urban areas, but the land there is very less. Therefore, the distribution of population is dense. Dense means a lot many people are staying at one place. Urban land can be classified in the different manners. Commercial land use. Some parts of cities are only used for commercial purposes. Commercial purpose means for only buying, selling, trading. In these areas, there are many shops, banks, and offices. This has given rise to the concept of central business district (CBD). For example, in Mumbai, the Fort area or the BKC Bandra Kurla complex is also a example of commercial land use. The next one is residential land use. Residence means for living. Here is the main land use is the residential purpose. In this area. Houses and residential buildings are included. Since population is more in the urban areas, residential land use has increased. Transport land use in urban areas, transportation facilities are important for the movement of goods and people. For this purpose. Different types of transportation facilities are found in cities like public bus stop, railway lines, metro, monorail, commercial vehicles, etc. In addition to this, the number of private vehicles is also large. Hence, in cities, roads, railway lines, stations, petrol pumps, transport depots, and vehicle repair centers occupy large areas. these are included in transport land use public utility area for various needs of the population some services are provided by the local governing bodies that is state government and central government the area under this services come under the categories such as hospitals post office police station police grounds schools college universities etc the land use under the category is important this services reduce the tension caused due to increasing population recreational land use this is the land use specially occupied for entertainment purposes the use of such spaces is mainly for fields gardens swimming pool theaters etc this is our refreshment area and the last one is mixed land use in some areas we find all these uses together such areas are said to have mixed land use residential areas and entertainment areas on maps special colors are used to indicate areas red is used for residential area blue is used for commercial areas yellow for agricultural and green for forest areas transitional areas and suburbs transitional areas means the areas which are not included in rural as well as urban these are the middle type of area where the final village area is ending and the cities are starting these areas are having a mixed type of land use as well as 
mixed type of culture later on this transitional area tend to grow up develop and convert into suburbs for example bandra bhandup etc are called the suburbs of mumbai city after the industrial revolution urbanization occurred on a large scale throughout the world since this urbanization was not well planned cities began to grow in a haphazard manner haphazard manner means it was not controlled and not a proper sequence was followed because of employment opportunities there a large scale migration to cities occurred as the city started giving lot of employment many people started coming to the cities for employment purpose as a result the availability of land is also a problem in city a lot of diversity is visible in the land use in the cities limited land various land use and burgeoning cities resulted in the thought of having a planned cities for the future burgeoning cities means too much of population has increased in the cities so now a thought has come that we should have a planned city even before a city grows its land use is predetermined and a planned layout is prepared accordingly the cities are developed singapore seoul south korea zurich in switzerland washington dc in usa brasilia in brazil are the examples of planned cities 7 by 12 extract under land utilization we have seen how land is put to different uses the ownership of land could be private or public land registration in this context is done under the revenue department of the government all the information about the registered land can be obtained from the revenue department in the 7 by 12 extract one can get to know under whose ownership the land is from the 7 by 12 extract the extract is a record kept by the public revenue department about the serial number that is 7 and 12 are distinctive sections of law pertaining to the ownership of land the 7 by 12 extract is a kind of mirror about the land this is because just by reading the extract sitting in one place one can get complete information about that piece of land without actually going there the register of the revenue department records the details of the ownership rights of the family status of death and loans transfer of ownership and the area under different crops village form number 7 and village form number 12 are combined to prepare as 7 by 12 extract hence it is termed as 7 by 12 extract these village forms are available with the talati of every village for land and revenue collection purpose property card ownership of non agricultural land is recorded on the property card This document showing ownership rights and the area of the property is made available from urban land records. It has the information such as city, survey number, plot number, amount of tax, area of the property accessed, right to access, etc.